know that you touched on growing up around 37th, you know, with your, with your childhood friends, right? So, you know, unfortunately, you know, a few years ago, you lost one of your good friends and rap partner, Octa Clicker. May he uh, rest in peace. So how did losing him impact your music career? I mean, forget about my music career. Like, it impacted me. Like, bro, like, come on, man. That was very loud. My best friend, like, people talking about best friend. They was they man. Niggas were like saying this and that about them too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't know my man. Like, my man was really, he was really him. And yeah, that shit really did hurt me. No funny. Okay. Sorry for that. Out. Okay, so, you know, as we all know, no Savage is incarcerated at the moment. You know, I'm not going to go too into detail about what happened, but during the incident that got him incarcerated, he was swearing on op, right? So a lot of people on social media found the way that he was acting to be amusing. And as a result, you know, they had made the phrase on op a, a viral sound on TikTok. How did that make you and your friends from uh, 37 feel? Man, I saw that shit, man. I was not, I was not, yeah, that shit did not sit right with me. That shit was not even funny. Like, it wasn't funny. Like, bro, I was dead serious. Like, that's how he felt. Like, no funny. When I come up, woody, woody, woo. Like, yeah, bro. Like, no, they won. Like, some people don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't know. Some people really I do know when being funny, you know what I'm saying? Right. Shit crazy. Facts, facts. Yeah, free savage though. Okay. So yeah, so we've talked about how you're manning up now, right? You know, like you just turned 22 last month. So yeah, like I said earlier, I've been paying attention to you since 2019. And I've noticed some of the positive strides that you've been trying to make to be better. One thing that really caught my attention is when you posted that you had gotten married. Um, so is that true? Yeah, that is true. That's what's up, you know? So being at a young age, I think at the time you were probably 20, 21 or 19, right? And you rap, you know, rap is a culture that really, you know, disrespects women. You know, um, what made you want to get married at um, such a young age? Yeah. I never, I ain't gonna say that I never heard of marriage, but like, I definitely wasn't like on that, especially like what I was into, like my rapper lifestyle, I, I wasn't on that. But like, you know, I did get incarcerated two years ago. And then that job, like, yeah, I built I built a relationship, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was, she might realize that's my best friend. No funny. She still is. Yeah, that's what's up. It's definitely what's up. So, mm. so like I said, you've been positive. You've been manning up. So, you still have a decent sized following. I think on Instagram, you have about eighteen thousand followers. You got songs on YouTube with hundreds of thousands of views, right? So, what's some advice that you could give to somebody that you know looks up to Tom Too Lit? Some of the, some advice that I can get to them is, you know, they just gotta keep pushing. Like, it's it's more than music, though. You gotta realize, you gotta. How can I put this? You re, you gotta wanna be, you gotta be, you gotta wanna have the. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me get my thoughts together, man. Yeah. Like you gotta make them want you to. You got what I'm saying? You gotta make them the you gotta make them want you. It's more than music. You just gotta be like trending somehow. You gotta grasp, you gotta grasp them. Okay, so not just on like a music tip, but as far as like what you've learned in life and being a man, you know, like what would you tell somebody that kind of sees you as like a role model? I I would say if you if you wanna really do music. Look into the actual 
the actual um, business part of your music career first, because I ain't gonna say that's where I failed at, but you know, know what I'm saying? I can say that I, I missed out on about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I missed out on some shit. I ain't gonna say how much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I missed out, you know what I'm saying? On some money, you know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm staying independent. The old time to let, I would have signed. I would have, but I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm staying independent. I'm, I'm trying to find new ways to promote myself and, and expand my brand. I got a talk show that's about to come out. I know I said that I been was about to drop. You know what I'm saying? New Year's. I supposed to have the first episode for y'all, but I'm doing, I'm doing it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm just gotta get my sauce together. I gotta get my rhythm, my flow. But it's time. Okay, so do you regret like not knowing about the business side and missing out on money? Or do you just see that more so as like a lesson? Mm, as I was blowing up, I still was getting money, but I wasn't really, it wasn't no, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no rap money. I was getting money. Yeah. Okay, so you just said that knowing what you know, you would rather stay independent instead of signing a deal. Why is that? I don't know. I, f I feel like I feel like you investment. You a whole investment. No funny. That's all you gonna be. Okay, so you're saying that you would rather just invest in yourself instead of taking a loan from somebody. Right. Okay. Yeah, based on my income and the fan base that I have. Right. Okay, so is there any price that would that would like make you say, you know what? Yeah, you know, I'll take a deal. And if so, <laughs> you know, what's the price? That's funny that you asked that, bro. <laughs> Cause a lot of times in my songs, I be like, you know, a hundred K and you know, ain't signed with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some people, they sign up, they sign up quick. <laughs> Not even for the hundred, you know what I'm saying? Man, they sign it quick. Not even for the hundred, like, yeah. But I'm on my way. I ain't gonna say too much, but I'm on my way. You know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm slowly but surely, man. I got a lot of, you know what I'm saying? I got to prioritize. I got a lot of stuff I'm trying to do. Okay. So there's no like number that would that would, that would make you sign a deal? Nah, I feel like this ain't no back in the day. Back in the day, you know, they was giving out. Yeah. It was giving out, like it was crazy number. I, I bet it's probably still possible. Like you just got to stand on it, no fun. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you said that you've been trying to expand and trying to find more ways to market yourself and you brought up that you have a talk show on the way. You know, can you tell us more about that? Yeah, the talk show gonna be something epic. Like I feel as though I feel as though they are they'd rather hear me talking about some real stuff or about my life period than look at one of my music videos. You know what I'm saying? I got people that still really I want to listen to my music, but I feel like that'll, that'll bring a different type of audience. And shout out Dan Glizzy. I, I, like I see him. He was a little bit of inspiration, inspirating me too. He doing this thing and he be really saying some real shit. 